What's up? This is episode five, week six of the NHL Football 13 Dynasty with my franchise play you, Elite. Uh, we are taking on Western Michigan. I apologize for how long this is taking, but Madden has kind of taken over the world right now. But we're back. Bryson Hughes is the first guy I am still trying to lock down all of my recruits here. So far, I mean, I have to say my recruiting class is pretty stacked. Um, which is the reason why I've been saying over this time that uh, I may just have to bump up the difficulty, at least on the recruiting. Uh, I don't think I'm dominating in play yet with, you know, with franchise play you. It might be different if I had, you know, LSU or somebody like that. But when I created this team, I didn't make them a powerhouse. So, you know, we still trying to work it out on top of that. My star running back is injured, injured, which is Vic Harrington, and he is the closest thing to Matt Forte. That the Matt Forte for the Bears of 2011 is the closest thing you're going to have on a collegiate level. So we're still trying to wrap some guys up. Andrew Harwell, we're not even in his top three, but still plugging away, trying to get him to sign. And Quentin Richardson, which is the number one athlete in, uh, in the nation. We're not in his top three either. And we got Craig Thomas, which is the number one running back. Not in his top three. So right now what we're doing is I secured a lot of guys while I was ranked uh, in their top five or whatever. So I'm going after some other guys now because I pretty much got a lot of the main guys that I wanted. So now I'm kind of reaching out, trying to get some other guys. And Terrence Washington, we're scouting. Um, he's not as fast as we thought or as was originally thought so he's dropping minus one on his pro uh projected overall rating now down to a 78 through 42 percent of the scouting process moving on this is terrence washington we might as well give him a call see what he thinks about dropping offer him this scholarship what you gonna say we offer it to you he didn't take it but uh he's a five star a five star athlete this is Jared Taylor. We hadn't scouted him at all at first. Saying he's an 81, but stamina is higher. Power moves are higher. Okay, 30% scouted. Nothing but good things came out of that scouting session. So we're going to move on into the game. Western Michigan. This should be a game that we should handle fairly easily. Johnny Simon is one of the key players there for uh, Western Michigan. We're going to see if we can shut him down and everybody else. All right, now we in the, this is the first play from scrimmage. This is the first play from scrimmage. Check my guys out. We are all over people. You understand? Number 33, if you don't know who he is, you better ask somebody or go back and watch some of the old, uh, some of the old uh, videos that I've done in this series because he has been a animal the whole time. Look at Powell. This is the first two plays from scrimmage, and he is exploding all over Western Michigan. Sniffing out passes in the flat. Two straight plays, two straight tackles for losses. Here's the third play from scrimmage, third and 18. Powell coming again, but his boy gets some first. Now, watch this side step that Van does. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not Van. Van is my defensive end. This was the defensive tackle. It just skips right over the... Uh, it was Edwards it skips right over the uh, the running back to try to cut him low still gets the sack now here we get the ball hits Martinez gets a block guess what house house straight to the house six to nothing gonna be seven to nothing after the extra point this has started off quite well Gant is playing well Alexis Gant just putting the ball right where it needs to be beautiful play gets the block that's what when you get your wide receivers blocking downfield, it turns into big plays, and that was a touchdown. Here we are in the second quarter, four minutes and five seconds remaining, but they start to get a little, little bit going. Now, they got a good running back, and he gets a good game here, gets a first down, and um, he had a decent hole and uh, made something out of it. So it's 346 remaining in the second quarter. In the shotgun, they are looking to add more. Alex Carter down the sidelines whoa and he flat I mean he just flat beat his man to make that catch so now they are first and goal inside the five Carter looking 
nobody there. He's going to run. Just dives in. So that was insulting to me. That he just dove over the top of my linebacker. No, we don't really. We're not feeling that. Tied the game up at seven all. Now things are starting to get a little bit tough for us now. Still in the second quarter. Look again. Back going deep. Got his man Martinez caught the touchdown pass. But look, that's not my fault. He flat dropped that. Had one on one coverage inside co inside position, and he flat dropped it. And now they are driving again. It's seven to seven. But they are on the move. This guy here, he's a big, big receiver. And he gave us issues all game. Alex Carter under center this time. Third and three. The handoff to Drake. First down. That's a tough first down that they get. And, but we did, we did happen, happen to hold them to a field goal. And they go ahead and take this lead here. Ten to seven. I'm not feeling that at the end of the half. You know, I mean, right at the end of the half, I let them take the lead, even though we were kind of dominating. But it's 24 seconds left still. Gant back. Oh, yeah. He hits Ricks. Ricks breaks a tackle, threatening to go all the way down to the 35-yard line. I don't trust my kicker here to hit a 52-yarder, so we still need to get a little bit more. 17 seconds left, too. Gant, there's nobody to throw to, really. Oh, now this was a play. I, I kind of say that might have been my fault. I probably could have made a better play on the ball. That would have been a touchdown. But here it is. Seven seconds remaining. Third and ten. Gant got all kinds of field. Look at him scramble. You better get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Gets out of bounds with one second remaining in the half. And that should be enough. Enough it is. Field goal ties the game up at ten as the gun goes off. My gun go off. That's 50. Uh, the gun goes off to uh, send it into the second half. Third down. Fourth uh, 4 and 44 remaining Jelani Weatherford the white man with the black name straight up the middle he's not as explosive as Vic Harrington he gets those types of carries so you know but he does set this up which is the play action pass to the tight end Vickers if it wasn't for that run play by Weatherford that's not that wide open play action pass now watch 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 the linebacker bite I mean I'm watching excuse me watch the defensive back bite up oh, as soon as you did that you left an open area in the zone, and Vickers took advantage of it. Touchdown. We take the 17-10 to 10 lead. But these guys, they're not going to go quietly. Alex Carter, look at that catch by Stout. Jumped up there and just took it from us. I, I, I'm going to tell you now, I lost too many jump ball situations in this game. Carter back again, and he's getting too much time to throw. Sidelines, hit Stout again. Now, at first... It was the receiver on the other side. Now Stout is stepping up, and he's giving us problems. But this is a big-time fourth down. It's fourth and six. They go for it. Carter looking. He's going to run for it again. This is the second time he has hurt us on a late scramble. Gets the first down. A minute and a half from, yeah, the freezing. A minute and a half remaining in the third quarter. Carter back to pass again. End zone. Whoa, we got lucky. We got lucky. That one was just too long, and he could not get both feet or one foot down, so they turn it over on downs. But look at this. Now, look at this play. Get back to pass. Gets hit. LeGreer for Western Michigan picks it up and takes it in. Now, I'm going to tell you, my arm was going forward. I swear, I'm telling you, my arm was going forward. They're saying that that was a fumble, so of course, I got a challenge. And... They uphold this and say that Deontay Greer's fumble recovery touchdown run stands and gives them seven, six points. Turns out to be a game tie in play that blows. Now, here we are just hurt by that. 17 to 7, the kick return by Reggie Rose. The kick return by Reggie Rose. The kick return by Reggie Rose. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. That is a touchdown. And you want to talk about getting it right back. 93-yard kick return sets a new school record for a kickoff return yard for a touchdown. And just like that, just like that, we get the seven points back. Regain the seven-point lead, and this game is turning out to be much more exciting than anybody expected. Alex Carter back for them again. Now, this is fourth, uh, the fourth quarter, and that's not what he should be doing. Waylon Freeman 
this is my little missile right here this guy makes big time plays 24 to 17 gets the interception Gant look at this pass beautiful hits Ricks this is one of Gant's best games really without a doubt one of his best games 241 remaining hands it off to Jelani Weatherford back up the middle banging inside the five 63 yards on the ground 10 rushes not bad but you see you saw two of the biggest runs he got to get the majority of the yards on those carries first and goal to hand off to Goodwin the third string running back getting some love because Harrington's hurt and this gives us a nice comfortable two touchdown lead at this point 31 to 17 I just had to show you this one Drake gets flipped by Waylon Freeman Drizzy got flipped he just got remixed because Waylon Freeman look at this hit did you think don't you ever look the other way when I'm on the field Waylon Freeman I'm telling you this is a little missile this is a little missile he got the big interception and then that hit the game got a little bit crazy towards the end just with some scoring even kind of some garbage touchdowns but I felt like we won a pretty exciting game 38 to 24 franchise play you takes the game they call this the play of the game I would probably disagree I mean I guess you know it was it was late in the game I didn't even show it to you because it was really a garbage touchdown it's kind of like a a misread on the game's part trying to pick like the most pivotal play usually they kind of get it right but not on this situation but we move ahead and go ahead and win this one a win we needed it's a conference win uh, right now my my goal is well and you know ended up getting 192 yards I'm telling you all of that was garbage yards at the end my goal right now is to get this team to a point where we are going to win our conference, win a division in our conference, get to the MAC championship game. But we also want to get ranked. So trying to move up the, you know, move up the ladder to get ranked. 192 yards on the ground for Weatherford. Yeah, that's deceiving, but it still yardage nonetheless. The next week is a bad week. You see we get a commitment from Finley, one of the uh, centers that we were after. And Waylon Freeman was a defensive player of the week for the MAC. Six tackles, three assisted tackles, a forced fumble and an interception he did his thing we are not ranked yet we didn't receive any votes to be ranked and it's probably not going to change next week because we got to buy and i will still have a episode for that coming up shortly harrington still fifth in the nation in rustin despite being out so if he comes back strong he should be able to get right back into the russian title race um and there's Waylon Freeman, third in a oh, tie for second in the nation in tackles. He is a animal, straight up animal. So we got the bye week coming up next week. So stay tuned for that. And like I always tell you, please, please subscribe and follow on Twitter at the handles on the screen. Peace and thanks for watching.